Climbing down the slope is the reward for the strenuous climb to the top. These winter sports enthusiasts didn't take the ski lift up the mountain. They hiked for more than an hour. Now they're enjoying the two-minute downhill run. The area around Berchtesgaden in southern Germany is very popular with ski tourers. The region offers a large selection of different routes through the Bavarian Alpine countryside. Ski touring guide Toni Grasso is preparing his group to climb the Tota Mann or Dead Man Mountain. It's 10 kilometers from Berchtesgaden and covered in conifers right up to the summit. Anyone can come along as long as you can ski and have the right equipment. Bei der Ausrüstung ist zu achten, dass man eine Skitourenausrüstung hat. You have to have ski touring equipment. Die entsprechende Tourenbindung. That consists of touring skis with proper touring bindings. So your heels are free. Entsprechenden Touren Skischuhe dazu. Then you need climbing skins and touring boots, which give you more freedom than normal ski boots and ordinary ski poles. The climbing skins made of artificial hair are the most important because they keep you from sliding backwards when you're trying to go uphill. Victoria Bizanz regularly goes ski touring in winter. For me, it's the feeling of climbing, of exercising in nature. The kind of movement you do when you go ski touring is very special, and then you've really earned your downhill run, usually in solitude. A day tour with an experienced guide costs about 200 euros. It's important to know about avalanche and weather conditions before you start. Today, conditions are ideal. 20 centimeters of new snow. That means nobody's left any traces in it yet. Ski touring has become increasingly popular in the past few years. The German Alpine Society estimates that southern Germany attracts up to 400,000 ski tours a season. Ski touring is very popular because it offers physical activity in the open countryside. What I really value about ski touring is the experience of moving in the mountains. Whether the tour is easier or more challenging, you have the mountains around you. The surroundings provide a unique and beautiful atmosphere. After an hour and a half and three and a half kilometers of trekking through the snowy countryside, the tourers reach the summit, about 1,400 meters up. It's a great feeling when you reach the top and then get to enjoy skiing back down. That's exactly what I want from a ski tour. You suffer a bit and you exert yourself and then you have the pleasure of skiing back down again. It feels great to reach the summit and change your gear, then ski back down or go into the ski hut. A snack and a cup of hot tea in the hut are part of the experience. The short break heightens your anticipation for the downhill run. Then at last it's down the piste, back into the valley. The finale of every ski tour. It's fun, but for these skiers, it's actually the climb that really made it worthwhile.